Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. As always guys, if you are enjoying the videos, don't forget to check out my Patreon below. Link will be in the description below. So anyways, today we are reviewing another one of these 3D energy drinks and this one is going to be on the Liberty Pop. Now, I'll explain all of that in a second and what the Liberty Pop actually just means. But first of all, I bought the drink off of So Sweet and it cost me, I believe, £2.99. So go give them a check out. I'll put the link to their website in the description below. Again, it's another one of these American websites. Well, an English website that sells American drinks and candy and sweets and chocolate bars and stuff like that. So anyways, what is Liberty Pop? Well, basically on the actual website, the actual 3D Energy website, it literally says Liberty Pop flavor. And of course, to me, that means absolutely nothing. But after doing a bit of research into what actually flavors this can is it's actually now i think this is correct so we have cherry at the top some sort of cherry aid we have some sort of kind of lemon type kind of lemonade flavor and then some sort of kind of raspberry kind of blue raspberry flavor that's basically what these three flavors are because of course if you are in america you do have like these kind of free you know free stripe flavored drinks and candy and stuff of course over here in england we don't get that so but um yeah that's pretty much what i'm guessing what it is from doing a bit of research online but we will find out as always so anyways, let's just give you guys a full 360 of the can. So we have a very, very simple can design. And we literally have, said, the three colors on the can, red, white, and a light sky blue color. And that's literally it. We have the 3D logo in black in the middle, and it just says Liberty Pop at the bottom with energy drink. We have all the ingredients and stuff on the back in black writing. On the bottom, we have nothing. And on the top, everything's all finished in a nice shiny black as well. So this is the 473 milliliter can. Now, looking at the back of the can, so these are all sugar-free. All of these 3D energy drinks are sugar-free, and this is actually the last can I have of this 3D energy now. So I said they are sugar-free. Uh, they contain panophenic acid, vitamin B6, B12, and niacin, so it's got our usual and favourite vitamins. And it has 42 milligrams of caffeine per 100 ml, so it's 10 milligrams higher than the average, and the average generally is 32 milligrams of caffeine per 100 ml, but this one has got an extra 10 grams. Whether those extra 10 grams are gonna make, oops, 10 milligrams are gonna make a difference between winning the Olympics or not, I don't think so. Uh, the website is 3denergydrinks.com, and that's the number three, uh, instead of, you know, T-H-R-E-E, -E, so it's the number three. And uh, so interestingly, even though this is an American kind of, you know, American company and the celebrity guy called Christian Guzman, I believe, made these drinks, they are actually manufactured in England for an American company, which is very rare because normally it's the other way around. Normally it's American company, American manufacturing, but I guess, um, you know, obviously the English manufacturing, they don't use as much nasty stuff as the Americans do, for example, is we don't use the high fructose corn syrup, we don't use this, we don't use that, etc. So... I guess he thought, well, why not? We'll make them over here and, um, you know, with different ingredients. So apart from that, having a quick read of the ingredients, do we have any uh, sweeteners as it is sugar-free? So we have Syroclose and the Sulefem case, no aspartame, which is good. But apart from that, it's um, nice and cold. I've got my cup. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully it won't explode over me. So we know, or I know the colour is going to be clear on this because then every other foodie energy drink I've reviewed up to this point has been clear in colour. If, the, if this one isn't, then, well, it's a it's a double bluff, but I'm assuming this is definitely going to be clear. And the smell and taste, well, this one does sound interesting, so we will have to find out. Just don't explode over me. Right. Ooh. There we go. Bam. Last can of 3D Energy is open. And the colour is clear. Surprise, surprise, guys. Of course it's going to be clear. Because, of course, because it's done by that uh, celebrity guy, obviously he is trying to be more healthy and stuff, so there's no artificial colours or anything like that. So there's quite a lot of bubbles on the top there and a fair few bubbles on the side as well. But yeah, definitely a lot of foam on the top. The colour, as I said, is completely clear. Looks like lemonade or fizzy water or anything like that. And you can see my face, hello, through the drink. So anyways, let's give it a closer smell now and see what we can smell of. Oh, it stinks. Oh, that really, really does sting. And you know what? Again, I found this to be the same with most of the other 3D energy drink smells. They all smell really, really nasty, but they taste, generally taste a lot better than they do smell. But yeah, that really does smell disgusting. And again, that could be due down to the point where, you know, there was no artificial smells or anything like that to make the drinks on us, which, you know, is fair enough, you know, but I know smell is a big part of, you know, a drink and eating and stuff like that. But 
you know, if Azzle got any nasty chemicals to make it smell nice, then, you know, fair enough. He is, he is purely just, you know, trying to make the drink as healthy as possible. But yeah, it really does. It just stinks of chemicals. It, it just smells disgusting, like it's gone off or something. It really does smell. Ugh, it does stink. But anyways, it's not about the smell at the end of the day. It is about how it tastes. So anyways, nevertheless, let's try some. Yeah, definitely tastes better than it smells, 100%. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So I can straight away see, I'm so straight away, straight off the bat, initial reaction is I'm definitely getting a kind of cherry, cherry lemonade kind of vibe. That's really much the vibe I'm getting. Definitely the cherry is kind of most strongest in there, but I'll go. You know, I'll explain that more in a little second. But anyways, as I said, sugar-wise, I said as it's sugar-free, it hasn't got the sugar sugar taste, which is which is fine. But in terms of being sweet, I'd say it's definitely got a good amount of sweetness there. Definitely along the average in terms of sweetness, because even even for being sugar-free and not having a spa to me or anything like that, it definitely has a good amount of sweetness. It does have the sugar-free style of sweetness, like the sugar-free drinks have, but it hasn't got the nasty type of sugar-free taste which you know some of the other drinks do so you know you wouldn't think this one is sugar-free you know it hasn't you can't physically imagine it like with the sugar as it like with tea and coffee for example if you were to add like you know three four sugars it hasn't got that taste but it's just more of the of the sugar-free sweetness but for that it's really nice because there's no you know there's no like weird any of that kind of chemical aftertaste or anything like that with the sugar-free sweetness but anyway, the drink itself, so you've got beginning, midsection, ending, and then the aftertaste of the drink. Well, as I said, for the most part, it is a cherry and a kind of lemon, lemonade-ish vibe. Uh, kind of beginning and then towards the midsection of the drink, you kind of get this cherryade flavour. Um, but it's not, again, it's not like 100% pure cherryade flavour, because obviously it's mixing with the three other different flavours. But you've got a, you just notice it, it, it it's not... The flavour in the drink isn't super, super strong, but you know it's there. So you've got the cherry flavour at the beginning, kind of that cherry aid fizzy flavour at the beginning, and then it goes into the midsection where the kind of cherry aid drops off a little bit, and then you kind of, you've got like a little bit of kind of lemonade flavour, very, very subtle again, but you know it's there after the cherry, cherry flavour drops off after the midsection, and you kind of get this lemonade flavour kind of towards the end of the drink, and then that's kind of about it for the drink. Um, in terms of blue raspberry or the raspberry flavour or anything like that, I can't seem to, to spot that in the drink, I can't seem to spot that in my taste. Of course, it may indeed well be in there because obviously the three flavours. Um, of course, it may be in the background and maybe, you know, making up the overall flavour of the drink. But for the most part, it definitely is cherry at the beginning followed by a lemon flavour. And the flavours themselves, they taste nice. There's no... Oh, excuse me, guys. Fizzy. There's no artificial... You know, there's none of that artificial flavours or taste. Like the cherry aid tastes nice at the beginning and the lemon after that tastes pretty decent as well. So for that, yeah, it's actually... It's actually okay. You know, I like cherry, I like lemonade, and I do like blue raspberry as well, and the raspberry, even though you can't really taste it in there. So let me take a, another sip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, that definitely exists. And I'll try some out the can, and then I'll give my final thoughts on on the drink mm. the jeff the cherry is definitely the strongest in this drink by far definitely the strongest flavor mm. yeah definitely cherry head followed by the little lemon in the middle so yeah it's pretty much a drink um quite impressed with that three no sugar free it's definitely a nice another drink but of course it's one of these drinks that, I mean, it, it is interesting that these manufactured in England because you can't ever buy these in any shops in England. It's really weird. It's really weird because you can never, you can never find these. You can only find these on um, British websites that sell American stuff, but they're manufactured in England. So it's really, it's really weird. They cannot find these in England whatsoever. So yeah, that is a bit, bit weird. I don't know whether they're literally shipped straight direct to America or what, but whatever there you go but anyways nevertheless that is nice that does get a thumbs up from me 
So as always viewers, thank you for watching. As I said at the beginning of the video, you can check my description below. There you'll find my link to my Patreon. Minimum support is one pound and that will go towards new drinks, which means new videos for the channel. Or you can follow me on TikTok, Instagram or Twitter. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.